Hello and welcome again to our next lesson. Today we're going to discuss about the mindset. We'll see how the mindset can affect our health. Now to put it all into perspective, I have here a beautiful quote. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change the way you think about it. We are continuously flooded with all kinds of unhealthy situations and challenges in our busy lives. We have demanding and stressful jobs. We have limited time for physical activity and we find it difficult to make healthy food choices. We spend way too much time on technology and smartphones. We feel lonely, but at the same time, we find it difficult to form genuine bonds with other people. Self-care, hobbies and passions often take a backseat. We are fascinated with the next quick fix or finding a magic pill to make it all better. But what if we already have that miracle magic pill in our heads? I am sure you've heard of the placebo effect. Now, what could cause a person's physical or mental health to improve after receiving a placebo or a dummy treatment? We each have our own perspective on life and on things in general. Your beliefs, assumptions and expectations about yourself, your life and about the people around you form your mindset. When it comes to reaching health and well-being, having the right mindset is crucial because it might make the difference between eating a piece of cake instead of a healthy snack or hitting that snooze on your alarm rather than getting up and exercising. Here is an illustration on how mindset could affect your health. Let's take Ben for example. Ben is told he has prostate cancer. Because it is in still early phases, the research suggests that it has very good chances of survival. The chances are really good. However, Ben's father died of prostate cancer. As a result of his past experience, Ben's mindset prevents him from being optimistic about his situation. He is dismissing the statistics and adopts a pessimistic attitude, believing that the cancer will claim him as well. He doesn't attempt to eat healthy, he doesn't exercise and he withdraws from his relationships. He can't sleep at night because of the stress. Now the overall effect will be a decline in health, but not because of cancer, but because of his mindset about it. Another good example of how mindset affects health is COVID-19. COVID-19 is making the headlines on all the major news and, and newspapers. They show people being in ICU, people intubated. They take interviews from people who have been badly affected by the illness. This definitely catches the attention of your elephant and taps into your emotions. Day in and day out, you hear more and more stories. You start getting preoccupied for yourself, for your family, especially if you or your, any of your family members have comorbidities. Cortisol levels start to rise. With restrictions in place and lockdowns, you have very limited choices of where you can exercise. You are unable to see friends and family. You, your sleep pattern gets disrupted. You're, you worry about your financial situation. You might resort to comfort foods or alcohol to make you feel better temporarily. Maybe you had friends, family members or acquaintances that got COVID and were very ill or even died with it. Time is passing, cortisol levels are going up, it slowly starts to affect your immune system, your blood pressure, your blood sugar levels, your digestion and your sexual life. Your physical health and mental health deteriorates. Your mindset now prevents you from seeing any positive outcomes. You concentrate on the negative things because it is natural for us humans to do that. You concentrate on the things that are out of your control. Now, having a positive mindset in this case, it won't change the situation, but it will change your ability to deal with the situation. Concentrate on the things that are in your control. Turn off that TV. Eliminate that distraction. If you're afraid that the virus will 
get you. You can make sure that you are in the best position to fight it. Adopt a positive mindset. You can exercise at home just as effectively. Pay attention to eating a healthy diet. Practice stress management. Enjoy the extra time spent with your family for an extra dose of oxytocin. Make the most of your time to make improvements in your day-to-day -day life. You can study for a qualification or a particular subject that you're interested in. These are small things that are in your control and they can make a huge impact on your health. If we want to maximize our physical health or start adopting a healthier lifestyle, then we must pay just as much attention to our minds as we do to our bodies. Exercise is another area where the mindset is important. In a 2007 study, researchers looked at hotel room attendants. Their jobs required a lot of physical activity, as you can imagine. They were pushing heavy trolleys, walking, making the beds, hoovering, cleaning, and so on. Now, when asked how active they thought they were, two-thirds of the participants believed they were not getting enough exercise and that their physical labor was simply work rather than good exercise. Researchers divided the, the room attendants into two groups. Group one was told that moving heavy carts, vacuum and lifting large mattresses qualified as significant physical exercise. And they were given a rough estimate of how many calories they were burning by doing this heavy work. Group two was told the benefits of physical exercise, but they didn't mention how many calories were burning, nor that their physical job qualified as more than enough exercise for any regular person. Now, over the course of four weeks, researchers noticed positive changes in the weight, blood pressure, and body fat level in group one, while there were no changes in the control group or group two, group that were not told how many calories were burning. Now, as you can see, a little change in the way we think about exercise had a significant impact on the psychological and physical well-being of this hotel room attendance. This means that recognizing the physical nature of our busy jobs as well as the ordinary tasks like housework, grocery shopping and playing with our children can help us get more health benefits from these activities. A positive and healthy mindset is especially important because it, it will assist us in achieving our objectives more easily. It is possible you are already doing physical activities that you are simply are not giving yourself enough credit for, such as walking the dog, taking the stairs, gardening, or cleaning and doing chores. These are all activities that we don't normally count as being physical exercise, but in reality, they are. Take time to reflect on your daily routine. Can you identify anything that counts as physical activity, even if it is a small habit? If you can think of ways you are already physically active, then you can spark new ways to continue embracing this healthier and fitter side of yourself. Start seeing your daily activities as more than just chores. Add value to them. A small change in your mindset can prove beneficial to your overall health. Talking about killing two birds with one stone, getting things done while doing your daily exercises at the same time. We have discussed this in other chapters, but your image of self determines the way you act. If you think you are an active and fit person, your image of self as an athletic person or fit person will encourage you to do even more exercises to fit in with this image. This concludes our lesson for today. Hope you found the information here to be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.